Jess, thanks. Florida is focusing in on seniors first when it comes to those COVID-19 vaccinations. But Orange County Mayor Jerry Deming says that we could learn which group will be next in line to get the shots within the next couple of weeks. And the mayor is joining us live over the phone this morning. Mr. Mayor, can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine. Uh, good morning and uh, good morning to everyone uh, viewing the show and listening today. Thank you. Good to have you with us. All right, so let's talk numbers first because uh, Orange County is at an impressive number right now of seniors who have already been vaccinated. I think yesterday you guys got up to 41%. How are you feeling about the rollout process so far? Well, I'm feeling better about the rollout process. It was very slow in the beginning, but uh, within the last few weeks, we have seen the uh, supply of the inventory made available here within our community increase significantly. And uh, through conversations with our state officials and our federal officials, we know that additional supply is on the way. So uh, the estimate is that uh, really within the next couple of weeks, we should see additional expansion of those who will be eligible to receive the vaccine and uh, we are also um, very hopeful that uh, we should see widespread distributions by really the April period of time. Mr. Mayor, there's been a lot of speculation about which group will be next and every state obviously is doing it differently. Who do you anticipate would be next and who do you think should be next perhaps? Well, I know that we have uh, fallen a little behind in getting uh, some of our first responders, primarily law enforcement officers, uh, inoculated. So I believe that uh, we will see that group uh, included as well as the most vulnerable, those who have uh, co-occurring issues, the medical issues that is. I believe that you're going to see uh, an expansion to those who are under the age of 65 but have those medical vulnerabilities. Obviously, the numbers are good right now, and we're making improvements, but there are still people who are frustrated and still can't get a vaccine appointment. What advice do you give them? What I say to everyone who really desires to have the vaccine, uh, it is uh, on the way. And just to be patient, uh, we are working uh, very closely with the federal supply at this point because uh, we are truly at the mercy of the federal supply that gets funneled through the state and down into the local communities. But uh, I am fairly confident with uh, having attended numerous uh, national conference calls uh, within the last week or so uh, that that the supply is going to increase significantly. So to those who uh, want to be vaccinated, uh, it is coming very soon. So just uh, hold on, uh, it is on the way. I believe that as we have seen now, some 181 plus thousand individuals uh, vaccinated within our county, about 160,000 or so of them are residents. Uh, we're also seeing our numbers uh, decline in terms of new daily uh, positive cases and so that's good news for our community we have about 6.7 percent of our population that has been inoculated at this point and that's good of course the goal is to get up to 79 percent so clearly we have a ways to go uh, but I am encouraged by the fact that more people want the vaccine than do not want the vaccine and we were always concerned that uh, people wouldn't want to uh, step up to the plate and uh, agree to be vaccinated Vaccinated, but that appears not to be the case at this point. And Mr. Mayor, the numbers coming down also uh, obviously good news for travel. And I know last week you spoke out about that. There's the possibility that there could be some travel restrictions to the state of Florida. Uh, do you still feel like you want to sort of keep things moving and keep people coming here? I don't believe that it's necessary to have any type of domestic travel bans whatsoever, and I believe that that's highly unlikely at this point. Of course, uh, our economy is one that is based uh, largely on tourism, and we really have to keep the economy going. With the numbers declining significantly and with uh, the availability of, of vaccine uh, increasing, uh, there really is no need in my mind to uh, institute any type of travel bans to Florida. Mr. Mayor, we certainly appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and our viewers this morning. Thanks so much and have a great day. Thanks and you too. All right, Danny.